Welcome back to the Green Workbench. I had a request based off of my how to make vinegar stains video <clears throat> to show how each stain turned out. Uh, you can see a finished product on my window bench seat video but it doesn't specify which board was made which with, with which stain. So I have a piece of oak, same wood that I use for my bench seat and it's sanded down with 220 and I have a piece of poplar. So I'm going to stain each one and I've marked on the board and then we'll let it sit for a while and we'll come back and see what it what they look like. So I'm going to start out with the leaves and work from there. Alright, get my cloth wet. Rub that into the grain really well. And that's it. Next in line are the nails. This is what the nails liquid looks like. nails. Alright, next we have the coffee. And that was our darkest appearing stain. So we'll see what it does to the wood. You can also mix and match if you want to once you get to know the tints if you want to add some dark to one of the other colors. You can see some change already. Um, it looks like in the leaves I, I got a drip of the of the leaves, and the nails kind of got mixed up a little bit. But we'll let uh, sit for a little while and come back and see what happens. All right, it's been a couple of hours. You can see that the poplar isn't as dramatic as the oak. It's because the oak had a, has a wider grain. Um, poplar is usually used more for painting rather than staining. So that's not surprising. But let's take a look a little bit closer at the tints. So start here with the leaves. Now ignore the gray spots. Um, that was a drip from the nails, but you can see here, there we go, it's a little bit of a, a purplish tint to it, and up in here, it's very light. The nails produce a nice charcoal gray color. Um, coffee is a kind of a rich brown color, it's not very dark. Um, but it's a nice rich tone. The peppers and basil, it's kind of hard to, to notice. Um, there's a little bit of pink. 
uh, the avocado as well. It's kind of a reddish tint. Now this is a red oak, so it's hard to see on this oak. Again, ignore the black spots, but there's kind of a, a reddish tint you can see in there. The steel wool is a nice dramatic black stain. Um, that's pretty cool. The pennies is a lighter gray. See in here and up in here. And then over here is another sample of the coffee beans. So on the poplar, same thing. Kind of a little purple tone, a gray for the nails, a nice brown for the coffee, the peppers and basil. It's kind of a really light pink. Um, avocado, a pinkish red color. The steel wool is a darker gray. And then the pennies is a very light gray. So really out of all the stains, the only one that the only two that are dramatic are the steel wool and the nails, and the other ones are very subtle. Um, but like I said earlier, you can mix and match. Um, add two together so you if you add the coffee with the nails it's going to add a brown tint to that gray um, the pennies because it's a lighter gray you can add some of the pink to it um, mix and match and figure it out but there you have it those are the vinegar stains that I made hopefully that gives you some ideas of some of the things that you may want to use in your stains either the same or uh, try some different things um, if you haven't seen it already, check out my video on how to make the stains, and also check out the video on the uh, bay window bench seat where I utilize these stains in a project. Thanks for watching. Please check out my website, thegreenworkbench.com. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great how-to videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you and try to answer all of your questions. Thanks for watching. Thank you.